Oh, hi. So who goes to Las Vegas around Christmas time? We do. Here we go. We stayed at the Bellagio to take advantage of some off-peak deals. They brought on the class. To greet you when you come in, the ceiling in the lobby is covered in artwork by Chihuly. Lots of glass, bowl, stuff. You know, artsy. Being the Christmas season and all, the conservatory had an overwhelming amount of Christmas decor. From Christmas trees, to Santa and his reindeer, to Arctic beasts, just about everything you can imagine. Look at my face. I'm a polar bear made of flowers. Being a family trip, we took tons of pictures, which yielded some gems like this one. Hey, what's going on? We spent plenty of time checking it all out. Plenty. Oh yeah, there was also a giant molten chocolate waterfall. Yeah, no big deal. And of course we also went to Caesar's Palace to see the actual location of his brutal stabbing. I found a real statue of him carved by his best friend Joe, I think. I then tried to get into Caesar's private high-stakes poker room. I classed it up by carting some toilet paper along with me. They did not let me in. I thought eating on the trip was a good idea, so we did that a few times. Mmm, brunch. Delicious, delicious brunch. Too delicious. There was also a circus-themed restaurant with fancy French food. Confused? Yeah, so was I. Whatever it was, it was, again, delicious. Here are the desserts. We had quite the spread between six of us. Quite awesome stuff. And, of course, what French dinner is not coupled with wine? It was delicious. Very tropical. Hearty. Did you eat it? You didn't eat it. Did you? There was some pretty sweet French music, too. I love the 50s. I'm a polar bear made of flowers. Later in the trip, some gigantic chocolate covered strawberries showed up in our room. Take a bite, Bri. No. I want to put it up with David. David's the one in the video. Oh. That's not. I don't want it. Our version of Lampoon's Vegas and Christmas Vacation was concluded with some time at home in Denver. Between the mountain scenery and the traditional Christmas lights, everything was pretty standard. I played plenty of Laser Kitty at home. This definitely wasn't a high scoring round here, but I did get a few points. With so little action, it's sped up for your sanity. Go, Kitty! Kitty thought he was getting a lot of presents this year. Who will not wear the ribbon? Luckily, his animal instinct for claiming them didn't kick in. Cat urine and presents are not a good mix. And of course, I got plenty of time with the dog. Here, take in this soothing scene. On the tail end of my trip, we also had some visitors from Australia. Here's Damon playing the piano. We had an infant in the house who was really getting into the Christmas music. My dad's made a habit over the last 15 to 20 years of chaining Damon to the piano and forcing him to play Unchain My Heart. No pun intended. Here he is entertaining my dad's wishes and doing his best to remember how the old he goes. That's it. You stay classy. It's time for some outtakes and stuff like that. You can speak. Yeah. Are we no, video? No, no, no. That's not video. Me going huh? for things. <laughs> no. It's so attractive. No. <laughs> what? I think oh, it's say hi, Mama. Yeah, it's going on in the background. Hey, Betty, no, look the other way. Oh. Camera's here. <laughs> and it's on. <laughs> Flattering.
Stop distracting her. Mom, what do you have to say for YouTube? This is gonna be on the internet. If it is, somebody will be not coming next year. Out of, out of the will. <laughs> out of the Go. Out of the will. Go. <laughs> Jeez. What am I You're supposed terrible. to say? Wow. Okay, Those girl. fountains are ridiculous. Um, I have nothing to say. We'll make something. Wait, hold on. Is this on video? Okay, hold on no, one second. That's embarrassing. Who will not wear the ribbon?